everyone. Let's begin. Today we are going to learn the third part of traditional Chinese musical instruments appreciation. We all know China has a long history and splendid culture. Music is also part of it. First, let's do a quick review on the classification of Chinese instruments. By understanding how they produce sound and how they are being played, we can put them into four categories. Look at this picture. The first row is wind instrument. The second is bow instrument. The, the third is percussion. And the last is plug instrument. Today, we will focus on the plug instrument family. Basically, the plucked instruments can be divided into two types. One is horizontal and the other is vertical, based on the stance why them being played. The horizontal type includes wu zhen and wu qin. The vertical type includes pi pa, san xian, luan, etc. Now, let's take Wu Qin as an example. Wu Qin is ranked first among the four skills of Chinese traditional, of traditional Chinese culture. Wu Qin, Chinese chess, calligraphy, and fine art. It's also considered as a symbol of elegant culture. But in the days of Confucius, Playing Wuqin was one of the essential skills for the in intellectuals. For the thousands of years, it keeps closely relate, re relate, it keeps closely related to their lives. We can even say Wuqin has gone beyond music, becoming a symbol of Chinese culture. Therefore, Lots of film directors use it as a prop to create elegant atmosphere. Wu Qin, originally called Qin or Qi Xian Qin, which literally means Qin with seven strings. It mainly consists of three parts. The top surface, internal cavity, and the bottom surface. Today, I bring in a real one to show you. Wu Qin is an instrument with four of charm. The typical length of Wu Qin is 3 chi, 6.5 chun, symbolizing the 365 days in a year. FYI, Chi and Cun length are the length units in ancient China. Gu Qin has 13 Hui Wei, which, uh, which are the markers to show where you should put your fingers on. The biggest one refers to the intercalary month of the year, and the rest of them refer to the, refer the 12 regular months. You probably know that Chinese music use pentatonic mode. Do, re, mi, so, la. Corresponding to the five strings of gong, sheng, jue, zhi, yu. Symbolizing the Chinese philosophy concept of five elements. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. Other two strings were added later, one standing for the literature and the other for the army. Generally speaking, Gu Qin has three kinds of articulations. Now, let me demonstrate them for you. The first one is called Sa Yin, which literally means scattered sounds as a symbol of earth. 
The second one is called Fan Yin or floating sounds. They are harmonics. symbol of sky. The last one is called an yin or stop sound. symbol of human. Next, let's enjoy a masterpiece of Feng Qiu Huang. Before we start, I would like to tell you a romantic story behind this piece. A young man called Xiang Lu Sima admires Wen Jun Zhuo, who is the elegant lady. When he finally got the chance to visit Zhuo's house, he played, he played Feng Qiu Huang in a lobby and expressed his feeling towards Wen Jun. Finally, these two fell in love and decided to elope. Therefore, this is a courtship song in ancient China. Let's listen to it. is gentle and poetic. The melody is quite smooth and beautiful. It is considered as Wen Qu in Wu Qing's style. There is another style called Wu Qu. Jiu Huang is a famous one in this style. Allow me to demonstrate it for you. The first part I'm going to perform is about the guests at a banquet toasting with each other. Thank you. 
next part is about getting getting drunk and feeling gross. Imagine the guests feel gross, feel gross, and vomit alone with the last note. Compared to Wenqu, Wuqu is more energetic and warm. Why show you the Christmas of drunken guests? Jiu Kuang also implies a strong revolting emotion. Because in ancient China, it's common to use alcohol for killing melancholy. Let's see. There are a lot of pieces for Wu Qing, such as Mei Hua San Nong, Liu Shui, which literally means flowing water. In 1977, Liu Shui was record uh, a recording Liu Shui was chosen to be was chosen to be included in in the Voyager Golden Record, which sent into outer space by NASA. Therefore, you can we can see how classic this piece is. If you are interested in this piece, you can search it online and listen to it. Here are some recommended websites. If you are in, if you if you want to do some extra research, you can. There are plenty of resources for you. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.